Good morning, everyone. I know the events of the last few weeks have put some of us on edge. And to help all of us, I wanted to tell you the facts instead of you reading rumors on social media. So let's look at the things that have occurred. First, a young boy accosted a girl with a paring knife in a bathroom. This has been dealt with by the school and the Carmel Police Department in an appropriate manner. There were no injuries and the student was apprehended in a matter of minutes. As a matter of fact, the young lady has not missed a day of school. Second, there were two altercations on Tuesday. The first lasted literally two seconds and the second lasted 1.5 seconds before staff members stepped in. So this is a total of two altercations, only two, lasting a combined 3.5 seconds. Again, the school and police department dealt with these issues appropriately. Yesterday, we were made aware of students, by students of a rumor of possible school shooting. This rumor stated, or started due to a text strand between a group of students. To paraphrase, they were talking about the past two weeks' events, and then a student wrote that he didn't want something like a school shooting to happen. Another wrote to a friend that a dangerous time would be when all students were in a convocation. Then others chimed in in saying, let's talk about good things, and they began to write literally about puppies. From there, the rumor mill went into there's going to be a school shooting at Friday's convocation. To be clear, a threat was never made. Ladies and gentlemen, there is not and never has been a convocation scheduled for Friday. Never. Some of you shared with us or have seen a video of one of our students showing off ammo magazines. This has been investigated by the school administration and the Carmel Police Department and has been deemed no threat to our students or staff. We do appreciate everyone's willingness to report the events. We believe in see something, say something. Because of this, we have been able to investigate each event, even before most of you knew what was happening. Social media, when it is used incorrectly, can be damaging to people. So please, always remember to use this only in a responsible manner. We've been working closely with the Carmel Police Department to ensure the safety of everyone in this building. Remember, we are the Greyhound family, and we have always, always taken care of one another, and we always will. Now, everyone with me, Take a second and breathe. We're all going to be okay looking out for one another. We will move forward. This is what makes Carmel High School a special place for everyone. I hope this helps. We're here for you. Thank you.